my name is Rachel. Welcome to my channel, Learning with Boys. I usually do videos on homeschooling, curriculum, sometimes some baking and cooking. We are a gluten-free family. But today I want to share some gift ideas for teachers. We have gotten, already purchased some gifts for Sunday school teachers, choir, piano, some of my helpers in my nursery that I do at church. And I just wanted to share some ideas. I know it can get costly, but um, I found some really pretty things at the Dollar General. I don't know if you've been there in a while. I know everybody usually has at least one, two, maybe three Dollar Generals locally. But we have a one that is actually a little bit bigger than some of the others. And I hadn't been in there in a while. And I walked in and they had redone it. And there were some beautiful Christmas stuff that I probably could have picked up some stuff for myself. I'm trying to limit my Christmas decorations, trying to weed out, so I'm trying not to buy too much this year. But I did find some nice pretty gifts that I want to share with you and um, just give you some ideas that are inexpensive but are thoughtful, So, and just to show your appreciation. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I appreciate you all watching. Okay. Um, I have quite a few gifts here. I'm thinking about Sunday school teachers, piano teachers, the boys do some choir. Um, just want to give some small gifts. And this year will not be a year that I am going to be making things. I just, just one of those years that it's easier to buy. Um, I have all these little gifts, but then I found these at Sam's Club. And they're the peppermint. And it says irresistibly smooth. <laughs> Um, I know these are good so I think I'm gonna throw some in some of the gift bags and um, a lot of these gifts I got at the Dollar General but I just thought they were beautiful and I would enjoy them especially if some chocolate was thrown in so um, and then I had a lot of these gift bags already and this was one of the ornaments I got for one of the teachers. I had this one in mind for somebody else, for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that with some chocolates. And that's all I'm gonna do. So you can do huge gifts or big gifts. It just depends. Now, this is for a choir teacher, but she has a lot of helpers and um, they had a lot of ornaments there, and but they didn't have a lot left. But we found these, and um, my son actually picked them out, and he said he really liked them, and I hung it on my tree, and I thought it was very pretty on the tree. So I think we're going to do that with some chocolate for a couple of the helpers that help with that. So you're going to see me with a couple of those. So we did stick these in the bag because that was our intention for them for sure. I'm still deciding on some of the other gifts. So the same ornament, I'm throwing a couple pieces of chocolate. I know I have caught Sunday School and the goodies I always enjoy. <laughs> so, um, I got this at a market and I, I really liked it for myself, but I think I'm gonna give it as a gift. Um, I just really like it, but I know for my kitchen, I don't know if it's gonna work, but all they did was a little hot mat and sewed it to a, tape, to a dish towel and with a button, because that's already there for the button. I love that idea, it's so pretty. So I'm trying to think what we're gonna do with there. And then these were a couple other ornaments and this was a little bit big for an ornament, but I thought it could be something hung in the kitchen or if they had a big tree, they could hang it on the tree. So, I um, thought about putting those together. I'm thinking about staying with that. And here's a couple other things. I, I love all these things. Like if I had the space for them, I would have grabbed one for myself. <laughs> But I didn't. Let me see. It seemed like there was a couple other things. But, oh, I know what it was. There's another thing. A Merry Christmas. Now, I did get one of these, but I had a particular teacher in mind who likes this kind of thing. And um, I hung mine right outside next to my door. 
But this was actually at the Dollar General. It was $3, and I should take the price tag off, shouldn't I? So we'll do that. And, um, let's see. If I have anything else. I'm trying to think what I'm going to put in there for her. Like, I like this. Um, but I'm almost, and I had this in there, but I'm almost thinking about, I had a mug. Here it is. I have this mug, and I think I'm going to put some candy in the mug and add that to it. Let's see. I do need to get some more tissue paper. paper will not do <laughs> but so I think I'm gonna get that to them in this bag for, um, my son's actually Sunday school teachers it's a husband and wife so I think they'll like that and then I have some helpers that help me in my nursery class and I really like these so I think I'm gonna put these in these bags, of course, with candy. And like I said, I do need to get some tissue paper, so I'll have to work on that. So I think I'm gonna get that. Um, I think I'm gonna put these. Oh, I have these little bags, and they're just. Actually, I think, my, I think these were from my sister last year, and she dried the oranges. But I'm going to reuse them. So I thought this was cute. So I think I'm going to put these two together in there. I'm just going to take the little, the little tags off. And I'm going to put some of the chocolate in there. That one bag of chocolate is going a long way. I cannot believe it. So, um, let's see if this comes off. It's not coming off real well, but good enough. Oh, that one's not the one open. This one's the one still opened. And there's quite a bit still in there. You know what? I have a friend these are for the ladies that are in charge of nursery and she does keto and I just happen to remember that I have something I could put in there instead okay I just remembered I bought these for something else and they're the lilies I don't know if anybody's familiar with the lilies chocolate but they're sweetened with stevia and I know that she does this diet specifically so I think I'm gonna put those in there for her instead um, hopefully she'll like that as a sweet, um, let's see what else I have. I have these, and I haven't 100% decided what I'm gonna do with them, and I got four of them. And I really like this size bag. I might need to get a few more bags, like this. Um, but this is not bad, and you know, I just thought of who I'm gonna give this to. I think I'm going to give one to my son's piano teacher. He has a recital coming up. So I think I'm going to give this, take the price tag off, and this little um, towel with it, and then some chocolates. She might enjoy both. But I think I might give her a couple of these, and then a couple of the lilies. So, all right, well that will work. And then I still have a couple more of these and I have an idea who I'm gonna give those to, but I just wanted to share some of these Christmas ideas. I have, I got these little bags, if you see. I just put a little ornament with some chocolate in them. And these were like a pack of five or six at the 
general dollar, and they were a dollar, and the ornaments were a dollar, and they were very pretty. And these were a dollar general for three dollars. And the mug was there. I should have showed that a little better that it was from the Dollar General. And I can't remember how much it was. I want to say three or four. The only thing I was concerned about is it does say do not microwave or dishwash. So I hope she notices that. And this, I think I said, was at the Dollar General, and that was about three dollars. So they do have some really cute things. They had I had not been in our do Dollar General for a while. Okay. I did pull out just a couple more things. I I know the Dollar General has little boxes, probably not just like this one, but I have used these to hold gifts and they're usually only a dollar or dollar fifty. And I mean you could just put an ornament in there. Um and that would make a cute gift. And I know I buy these on clearance every year. And we may get to them, the cookie cutters, they usually have them. And you could um, make an, orna an ornament with them, just with cloth. Um, okay, I got that opened. And um, you could just put some, like, cloth, um, like Christmas cloth in between there and um, hot glue a ribbon on top. Um, I want to say you could even do, like, fudge in between if you wash these up and do the fudge inside of them. You could also um, put a picture of your child if you wanted it for yourself <laughs> or for some grandparents, and that would be a fun gift. I just wanted to mention a couple other gifts that you could do that um, we have done in the past, and we may pull these out. I don't know. For friends, that would be fun. So, and um, of course, we always have the treat bags, like if you are doing something for kids, that you could just go with candy and maybe something like a small toy from the Dollar General. All right, I just wanted to share some ideas um, for some Christmas gifts for teachers, some um, maybe you serve in a ministry and have some helpers that you just want to give a gift to. So, all right, thank you. All right, I hope that gave you some ideas, and I appreciate you all watching. Thank you so much.